Hello, family and friends, and welcome to the Emmanuel Pearlgate Daily Devotional for today. We pray that your spirit will be fed so you will be able to go through the day with Jesus on your mind and the power of the Holy Spirit in your heart. Feel free to visit us at www.epbcsf.com to learn more about us and to virtually worship with us through our virtual video library. Enjoy today's devotional. Week 21, Tuesday. Today's topic, I will affirm the Lord's goodness. I will mention the loving kindness of the Lord and the praises of the Lord, according to all that the Lord has bestowed on us, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he has bestowed on them according to his mercies, according to the multitude of his loving kindness. For he has said, Surely they are my people, children who will not lie. So he became their savior. Isaiah 63, 7 and 8. When life slips into a seemingly unchanged routine, it can be easy to fall into the trap of thinking you have made no progress. Until you look back and see how far you have come. The act of looking back does to the memory what a defibrillator does to the heart in cardiac arrest. Suddenly, you see that what has seemed to be a settled routine was instead God's working out his plan in your life. Today's verses serve as a reminder to look back and recall everything that the Lord has done in your life to bring you to where you are today. It is a call to immerse yourself in the memories of God's goodness, provision, loving kindness, and faithfulness. As you consider all that God has done in your life, both your faith and your resolve will strengthen. Then you, like the Apostle Paul, truly can say you are content in what God provides. Philippians 4.11 hmm. Heavenly Father, your active presence in my life enables me to be content in whatever the circumstances that surround me. Therefore, I will boldly proclaim your name as I testify of your goodness and loving kindness. Thank you, Father, for providing me with opportunities to declare your provision and protection in my life. It is in the mighty and matchless name of my loving Savior, Jesus Christ, that I pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in with us on today. We pray that you enjoy today's devotional and that it will be a blessing on your life. These devotionals are broadcast Monday through Saturday. So remember to tune in for our next devotional. For information, you can contact us at www.epbcsf.com. May God bless you and continue to keep you until next time, be blessed.